Okay, I wanted to talk about uh, a cool tool that I just came across. Actually, a couple of them, but one in particular that you might want. Uh, but let's talk about uh, screwdrivers and screws. So, a lot of times it's really hard to get a screw started. Um, you you can't you can't grab it, and it's in a location that you can't get to or whatever. So. There are these uh, screwdrivers that, that hold the screw for you. So uh, this one has a, uh, a mechanism inside that, let's see, is that gonna focus? Yeah, it's not really focusing too well. But it has a mechanism inside where there's a, a blade that, that turns inside of the blade. And as, as, you, as you move the shaft down, push the shaft down, that little thing moves in the center and that kind of wedges wedges in the slot of the screw and, and, and holds it, okay? So you can get these, they're about $13 or something like that. Uh, I think this is my dad's, I haven't had it forever. Um, then there are long ones. This one has a magnet on one end, and then this cool thing on the other end, which is the same mechanism, it has a little uh, a blade in the center. But this one is spring-loaded, so you can, you, there's a little latch here. So if, if you're down, in a hole, you can like reach reach down in there, and as you press, it engages that mechanism, then holds the holds the screw. So you could reach down to it, lock it, lock the screw, and then pull it out. So that one's that one's pretty cool. Um, don't think I've ever used it, but it's cool. <laughs> All right. So what if you're talking about teeny tiny screws? Um, how can you hold on to teeny tiny screws? So so you know some something really really tiny. Um, well, there are things called pin vices, and so this is a this is a pin vice, uh, and uh, it has a little collet on the end, and so you could you could try to put the the screw in, into the collet, and then you, you screw the collet down. Um, so you you could try to use uh, something like that, uh, and they, they work okay. The problem is that it requires like three hands to do the mechanism: one to hold hold the shaft, one to hold the, the collet, one to hold the screw. So it's, it's kind of, they're high, kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard to deal with. But if you, if you, you know, can deal with that, these sometimes, these sometimes work. Um, this is a cool uh, uh, pin vise. It's a, a double-ended pin vise. So the collets come in different sizes. Um, this one is the, a little bigger, this one's a little smaller. But the cool thing about this one is each collet is double-ended, so you can flip the collet around. So you have four, four collet sizes in one tool. Uh, so that's kind, of a, that's kind of a nice thing. So double-ended double collet uh, pin device. Okay, um, so these are the tools that I wanted to talk about though. So these are the ones that you might not have ever run across before. So this one's kind of uh, interesting. You will find this mostly in jewelry supplies. So, so jewelry making supplies. So they need to be able to grab small things like, uh, 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 you know, stones like diamonds or whatever. You need, you need to grab the actual stone itself and put it into a ring or something. Well, this one has little grabbies that, that stick out. And so you push the little button at the other end and, and the little, the little grabbies come out. So you can, uh, uh, you, you can grab a, grab a screw with that. Now, it's a little bit fragile. Um, it, it doesn't really have a good grip on things, but, but you can grab things, which is, which is kind of nice. But if you just need to hold something lightly, and maybe just get the screw started, something like this might work. Um, this one has one, two, three, has, this one has five, has five prongs uh, on this end. Uh, these are real cheap. Uh, I think I... I've seen at flea markets too, people selling these things. So they're kind of cool. So that's, that's one thing. All right. So the, the ones that are super, super cool or that I've just recently learned about because of watchmaking um, are these two tools. So let's talk about this one first. So every single trade has its own tool. So, you know, if it's black, blacksmithing or knife making or, um, plumbing, you know, carpentry, everybody has their own tools. And the, they, they, they need these tools to do, do, their, do their job. And there's some particular tasks that are very difficult to do without the right tool. And then once you have the tool, it becomes trivial. And so there was a problem with um, watchmaking because 
things are so damn tiny. Uh, so, you know, here's a bunch of, bunch of watch parts. Let me pull out a screw. Uh, let me pull out this one. Okay. You see that screw? <laughs> Probably not. It's, it's just as teeny tiny as you can imagine. Okay. So that's, that's, that is a screw. And, uh, it is so small that you probably can't even see it on camera. Um, so how do you grab this screw? Well, this is a, this is a split collet. So this is a two sided collet. It's not a four sided. It's a two sided collet and it has a little, uh, uh, you know, call it end. It, it's got a little round part. And if you put that on, on the screw and then push this, this one has a slide call it. Now I'm grabbing that tiny little screw. Uh, so uh, this is an amazing tool. It, 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 it solves the problem with the other collets is that you can do this one, one hand, you can hold the shaft and you can engage the collet with one hand because it's a slide call it. And so that's really cool. I haven't seen that before. And uh, this is for putting tiny little screws in watch balances. So it's called a, a balance screw holder. So if you're looking for these things, uh, search for balance screw holder. And the balance of a watch is the, uh, is the little wheel that, that uh, vibrates, that, that spins one way, then spins the other way. Um, and that sometimes there are little screws on the outer diameter of the uh, balance to add weight. And this, these tiny little screws that they need some way of holding them and to put them in there. So this is a, a balance screw holder. Um, they aren't cheap. They are not cheap. And so a set of these, they usually come in a set. So different size collets and they come in a set of maybe five. And you're going to pay, you know, a hundred bucks for a set of five of these things. So they're, they're very expensive and they only hold really, really tiny things. So really you don't need one of these unless you're a watchmaker. Uh, cause you know, when else are you going to grab super, super tiny things? Now, if you do need to, these is, might be a good solution, but, um, yeah, so this is, this is a cool thing. So we've got the little screw over here. Okay. So that, that one. So. I thought this is a great solution if it was only bigger for the type of stuff that I do. A little bit bigger one would be, would be great. Well, guess what? This is the tool you want. <laughs> this, is, this is a tool I didn't know existed until a few days ago. And I just think it's the, it's the most wonderful thing ever. Um, it's made really, really well. It's all polished chrome. Uh, the end swivels and so it acts like a, acts like a jeweler's screwdriver. Um, and it has a little plunger at the end, right? So it's got a sliding collet. This one's spring loaded, so you don't need to push it forward with your fingers like that other one. This one is spring loaded. And so you can put this in the palm of your hand and you can bring back the, the spring and open up the collet. And so for, for screws that you might be dealing with, like, like this little, like this little screw, um, it is, it is just great. Uh, I don't know. Like, how did I survive without this thing? I don't know how many times I've tried to start, start a little screws and, um, uh, let me get the screw straight here. Uh, so it, it, it's great. It's even has a little flat on, on the, on the swivelly part here. So it doesn't roll off your desk. I just thought of everything. This is only 10 bucks, brand new 10 bucks. Um, really, really nice. I'll put a link in the description on, on where, where you can get these things. Um, but they are a watch. They are a watch tool uh, made by a watch tool company. Uh, I think the company sells into the jewelry industry as well. So maybe the jewelers uh, need something like this as well. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and it's a four prong collet. It at its very largest opening, it can grab a 440 screw. So don't think of grabbing anything bigger than this, but for little tiny screws, 440 and below, uh, this is, this is the tool. And then it, it gets, uh, it only gets to a certain size. Like it can't grab the shaft of this. That shaft is a little too small for this tool. Um, so it's, it, it has a particular, it has a particular range, but for the types of the size of the screws and the screw head sizes that I'm, that, uh, I'm always looking for, uh, this is a really nice tool.